I V M. You are the most valuable investment you will ever make. Hi, I'm Zarina Poonawala, your leadership coach, life coach, and emotional intelligence coach. You probably know me from the Empowering series, and this is my new show, The Life Manifesto with Zarina Poonawala. I'm going to coach you to be the best version of yourselves. So get ready to create, attain, and manifest. the life you've always desired and make it your reality have you ever fallen for their talks and not noticed the red flags the red flags that were so very clear and they were literally in your face and now now you just feel stupid you feel stupid and embarrassed and you're wondering how did you not see that coming right Honestly while you are in a relationship it is so so natural to drop your guard not in the sense of vulnerability but in the sense of stupidity <laughs> that's right just because you didn't see those red flags earlier does not mean that you need to make the same mistakes again right so to make it easier for you to redefine love and open your heart to embrace love again without hesitation without self doubt i wanted to share with you something that can guide you and help you through the times when your feelings and emotions cloud your rationale they come in the way of your logic and then later you think stupid me right so i've put together some very common red flags in a relationship and trust me you don't want to ignore these well let's begin the most common one is insecurity Very often people confuse insecurity with possessiveness. After a degree of possessiveness, after a certain degree, possessiveness becomes insecurity, right? You might want to not share a person with other people, but when you start feeling insecure in that person's presence also, then it's not going to work in the relationship. A person who is insecure will not feel good when you grow. They don't like you growing. They don't like you being more successful. They don't like you having a good life, financial freedom. They don't like anything associated with your happiness minus them. They have to be part of it otherwise they're not happy for you. People with insecurities are constant attention seekers and they have no sense of independence whatsoever. And so they won't let you enjoy your independence either. Meeting friends or grabbing a meal with your colleagues you spending time with your family and every time something is about you they know how to make it about them rings a bell i'm sure it does now i cannot share you with anyone i love you why did you talk to your friends why did you speak to your friends more than you spoke to me why did you give your family more time than you gave me now the minute you find yourself anticipating their insecurities and fear it you must consider this a red flag The second one is abuse. Any form of abuse, physical, emotional, mental, verbal or financial, all forms of abuse are still abuse. When you start becoming hostage to a person who has no regard or remorse while inflicting pain, whether they are hurling abuses at you verbally or physically assaulting you, you need to know those are clear red flags right there. That is just absolutely clear even if they start exploiting your finances it is still abuse all right you don't realize that but when you have a partner who's not very capable of holding their finances together and they keep relying on you but they don't rely on you in terms of hey you know i need money for my startup or i need money to incubate or i need money for um, uh, let's say this course no that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a partner who's constantly asking you for money creating a victim mentality out of themselves and then abusing and exploiting what you have okay exploiting your resources these abuses may seem like one off mistakes but here you have to understand that it is very very rare for a person to actually break this pattern very few people actually genuinely make a mistake from this particular pattern of abuse they are those people 
and if they really want to break that pattern they are going to be people who seek help who go to therapy who go to counseling who go to coaching or at least who try and be good listeners to you and try and work on themselves if you don't see that happening you need to reconsider a healthy relationship should be your safe space if you start to feel unsafe and you notice signs of any form of abuse you better know that's your red flag right there then we have addictions any type of addictions any kind of addiction costs you your life any type drugs alcohol gambling porn any addiction these are front runners when it comes to red flags in a relationship addictions are a front runner if you find yourself being exploited because your partner is suffering from an addiction and instead of fighting their way out of it they blackmail you to feed their addictions then you surely need to consider that your red flag you may be able to be there for them they'll tell you i'm changing i need time and i'm working on myself but that's all a big lie and that's all part of their addiction talking you know they'll go to any level to fulfill that craving they have so if you feel like they are really 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 consuming you please make sure to step away also when you have a partner who is battling any sort of addiction sometimes you feel like you want to be of help to them and you feel guilty or you feel remorseful if you have to leave them in such a situation so i'm not saying don't be there for them if you want to be their messiah be by all means but if you see that there is no improvement and in the process it is devouring you of your happiness and peace you must make a decision no privacy this one i like to call jailbirding if you are with someone who is snoopy and sneaky knows all your passwords checks your phone regularly or logs on to your social media or emails someone who keeps an eye on every move someone who hawks you and stalks you despite of being in a relationship with you and if you're afraid that they will find out about something that you will have to explain yourself about and it makes you afraid it makes you miserable and you're constantly walking on eggshells around them then consider being on your way out because you are a lover and a partner and not a jailbird if that's the feeling you get it's your sign you better take it someone who's not emotionally or physically available the lack of understanding you emotionally not being present not being present when you need them the most they aren't around you when you really really want them to be they won't check in on you and their actions won't give you the feeling that they're really there if they aren't there they aren't present they're not acting present they're not mindful about anything to do with you then your time and effort requires to be valued if not validated valued at least right so if you start feeling lonely despite being in a relationship you might want to rethink it that could be your red flag right there not being available emotionally or physically this one's new and this one's not technically new it's just being talked about a lot gaslighting gaslighting and the blame game they always blame you for everything never realize they could be wrong too and really or almost never feel sorry or apologize you might be the victim of gaslighting now this term has suddenly become a hot topic right but it actually comes from the 1930s basically what it means is being manipulated psychologically by your partner your partner makes you think something is wrong with you they make you question your reality your perception and your confidence about everything they literally turn your life upside down and they create scenarios where you don't believe in yourself all right so like i said it comes from the 1930s but the conversation on gaslighting has become somewhat famous and uh, trending now so i want you to pay attention to a partner who's manipulating you psychologically and making you believe that you're not good enough making you believe that your reality is different and you're stupid and you're overthinking you're being over anxious all these signs that a partner gives you creating your reality in a way to deceive you you have to be aware of that okay don't fall for this don't fall for this trap uninspired and scarce that's right mindsets are contagious you know and when you talk dreams and visions but they are neither interested in your growth nor their own 
then you've got a red flag right there. A person with a rigid, fixed or scarce mindset will eventually make you start feeling uninspired, negative, unhappy and fixed yourself. And by default, negativity spreads faster than positivity. So I want you to consider that an uninspired person, a person who's not driven, a person who doesn't have the growth mindset may not be the right fit. And that is a red flag right there because you can't spend your time coaching them, motivating them, constantly inspiring them. Eventually, this will lead to insecurities where you're constantly inspired and they're not. And then slowly, just to fit in, just to make them happy, you'll become like them. So mind yourselves. You don't want to fall for that trap. And you don't want to live your life with somebody with a scarcity mentality. That mindset absolutely drains you, drains you of a lot of happiness. So you want to think about that. Someone who enjoys drama, that's a red flag right there. Okay. A person who enjoys controversies all the time likes to be the first one in the group to create a debate or be the first one to try and prove a point, usually trying to prove others wrong. A person who's slightly more demeaning, always talking about what somebody else said, what somebody else did and is heavily, heavily afraid of comparison. Those kind of people, they don't only fall into drama, but they really create their own drama. Okay, they want to be engulfed in some drama or the other every now and then. So a person who's constantly gossiping, bitching, backbiting, you know, part of the rumor mill. Those are the kind of people who enjoy these things. And now it's one thing when drama comes and finds you, right? That happens to all of us every now and then from time to time. But these people literally create their own drama. So drama is fun. I agree. It can be fun for a lot of us. But if a person is constantly focused on drama, then they're not focused on their life. They're focused on other people's lives. They also become very, very attention seeking and enjoy the spotlight, but for all the wrong reasons. That's a person you do not want to spend most of your time with because that's somebody who won't bring you peace. They'll only bring you more gossip. So think about that one. So these are some of the red flags that I particularly think sort of fall right in front of everything else. And if you tend to find this in a partner, if you tend to find this in somebody that you're dating even currently, or if you even think to some level, this is you, you relate to it more than the partner that you're thinking about, then it's time for you to make a change either in yourself or in your partner or in the choices that you're making. But it is time for you to make a change, right? So I'd like you to remember that. All right. And of course, this is your life, so you better do what you love and do it often. And if you don't like something, go ahead and change it. The power is within you. Thank you for tuning in to The Life Manifesto with me, Zarina. If you find the show useful, then please share it with your friends, family and co-workers. You never know, you may just help someone become the best version of themselves. And if you want to align your life with some signature masterclasses, certification courses and live sessions with me, go check out and download my app, Life Manifesto with Zarina Punawala, available on Play Store or Apple Store. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me, get in touch with me on my social media handles. I am at Zarina Punawala on Instagram and LinkedIn and at Zarina Speaks on Twitter. See you in the next episode. Hey, everybody. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Cyrus Says, the cast and crew of Geraya joins Cyrus in a fun chat about the making of the film. Cyrus talks to Deepika Padukone, Ananya Pandey, Sidhan Chaturvedi, Darya Karwa, and the director Shakun Batra. Kadai Podcast is back with a new story. When Well Seni is a Tamil podcast done by Kavita Jeeva. Find out how Tamil South India stayed independent of Ashoka and the Mauryan Empire. On Pesa Ves, Anupam discusses finance for informal labor with Gautam Bharadwaj and Parul Shet Karna, co-founders and directors at Pinbox Solutions. Should assisted dying and euthanasia be legalized? On All Things Policy, the Takshashila folk analyze the Lancet Commission's value of death report. And on the Filter Coffee podcast with Karthik Nagarajan, freelance journalist Priyanka Pula sheds light on the drug regulation problems in India. 
Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. The word of mouth really helps. Also, don't forget to rate us on whatever platform you're listening to us and check us out on YouTube. You can check a list of all of our channels at ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda and HDFC Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. Eventually, you'll see the end of your childhood. Get accustomed to womanhood. Enjoy the experience of sisterhood. Might get to wifehood. Or not. Choose motherhood. Or not. You'll learn to define your personhood. Earn a livelihood. Change the neighborhood. And get rid of the falsehood that life post-academia is easy. So join me, Ditasha. And me, Ayushi. On a journey from station starting point. To station, um, what now? Next station, Pudin Station and hopefully Agla Station, Adulthood. Fresh episodes out every Thursday.